Texting and driving is a worldwide problem. Many people do not see it as a concern. My name is Karina Cisneros, and I'm going to tell you why you shouldn't text and drive. Texting and driving is illegal, not safe, and is a cause of accident rates. It's something that is risky and hazardous. It can lead to a million consequences. Texting and driving shouldn't be taken into action. Leading into our first point, texting and driving is illegal. In most states, they are banned. Different states have different consequences. I have provided a map to show uh, the state regulations for texting while driving. The states covered in red represent a banned texting by all drivers, which includes Washington, Oregon, California, Nevada, Idaho, Wyoming, Colorado, North Dakota, Nebraska, Kansas, Minnesota, Arkansas, and Louisiana. The states covered in yellow represent uh, texting that, it represents no ban, uh, not banned, which is Montana, uh, Florida, and South Dakota. The states uh, covered in purple represent banned texting by Novus, which is, and bus drivers, which is Oklahoma. The states covered in blue represents ban used by bus drivers, which is Arizona. The, ban, uh, the states covered in dark gray represent ban texting by drivers, but will not be ticketed, which is only Iowa. The states covered in green represents ban texting by just bus drivers, no bus drivers, and bus drivers, which is only Texas. And the states covered in light gray it equals banned texting by novice drivers, which is Mississippi and Missouri. The meaning of novice is a person new to, new to or experienced in the field or situation. is it illegal it is not safe this can cause a lot of damage to yourself and others such as passengers pedestrians and pedestrians taking your eyes off the road even for a second can lead to consequences last of all texting and driving plays a role in the percentage of accidents yearly the accidents yearly is increased by the incidents caused by texting and driving How can we prevent texting and driving? This is a problem that can be easily solved. If you have an important text coming in, pull over, avoid, avoid texting and driving at all times, the percentage of accidents will decrease. Um, there have been many accidents caused by texting and driving, including a lady in Kenna. She lost her uh, best friend, which is her baby brother, on September 11th. 2010. Um, her brother was uh, texting and driving, taking his eyes off the road for a second, considering he had his daughter in the back seat. Um, he did get in an accident. He was killed, but uh, his daughter was not. Even though he was texting and driving and taking his eyes off the road for a second, he was led to a difference in his life. As the outcome of this incident, Texting and driving can affect many people. Kenna was, a Kenna was taken away from a loved one, and so was his daughter. Yes, it was a driver's fault that affected the family, which only killed him. Think of what you are doing and what could possibly happen to the people you are surrounded by, even if they are loved ones or not. In conclusion, texting and driving is illegal, not safe, and increases the percentage of accidents. This can be avoided. You shouldn't text and drive due to the couple of points discussed. Are there any questions? Yes, ma'am. Karina, do you text and drive? No, I do not. Yes, Crystal? Do you know what the rate is per year of um, texting and driving accidents? I'm not for sure, but I'll get that to you. Okay. Yes, Kayla? Um, what was it that got you into this subject? What sparked your interest? Um, well, I was. I was actually uh, on Facebook and I was reading over stuff and there, there had been an accident of, of uh, it was some dude, 
I don't know where he's from exactly, but he had gone into an accident because of all texting and driving. Does I have another question. Does texting and driving just like um, apply to driving? Can it also be like like maybe driving, riding a bicycle? Well, yeah, it could happen. You could get into an accident by 